Okay, everyone, we are back at the garden plot and we have our updated plot that is actually two 10 by 10 foot, 10 foot by 10 foot spaces. And so it's 10 foot by 20 foot. Um, and so I'm gonna show you, we've got our little sign right here, Sage. And so we've got all of this space and it looks like there's a bunch of like chicken wire fencing and different like posts left from the previous people who were in this space. So I think that's going to be really good. And we have some T posts and some cattle panel that we were going to use as trellises um, and fencing, but we might be able to rely on a lot of this stuff that's already here or repurpose it. We've got a nice little entrance right here to the garden. And then as you can see, we've got lots of weeds. So our plan for today is probably to pull these weeds, put up our trellises, get things ready. And then we've got a bunch of supplies here. So that way we can do um, the planting of the carrots and the onions and the peas because our temperatures are pretty good so far, but not, not to the point where we can plant out our tomato plants and pepper plants. Um, so I'll probably just check in, maybe do some time lapses of us cleaning up the garden and we'll see how it goes. Anything to add? Well, let's, let's start weeding. <laughs> Okay, well, while you are watching this lovely montage of us weeding this garden, I am going to just talk to you a little bit about uh, what the setup kind of is here. So in case you haven't seen the previous video where I talked about um, this garden space, so this is a community garden through an organization that is run in our city, and they are an amazing organization. They have a bunch of these community gardens all throughout the city. I think there's like over 15 of them total. And each community garden is different in size and stuff, but they all have a lot of plots. And you can go um, see one of my previous videos where we first found out we got the garden plot and we went to gardener orientation and we got to walk around the garden. So I showed you all of that. Um, but this organization is really cool and so essentially you can sign up and they are 10 foot by 10 foot plots and you can request as many as you kind of want and they you know figure out based on the demand and applications and first come first serve kind of situation they figure out um what you get assigned and so we started out with one 10 foot by 10 foot plot but then we asked for another one after seeing the first one. So we have, like I said at the beginning of this video, two 10 foot by 10 foot plots. So a total of 10 foot by 20 foot. Um, so essentially once you request those and you have to apply and everything, um, you can pay a, a fee to use and kind of rent the space for the season. Um, however, what we're doing is we're doing the work study option where we spend about four hours a month working in the garden and that waives our entire fee. So if we do that throughout the summer, each month we work about those four hours, then we only have to pay the like $10 deposit, I think it was. Um, and so we don't have to pay for these gardens um, to kind of rent the space, which is really cool. Um, in addition, this organization like I am just enamored with them. They host all sorts of class classes to teach you how to um, garden in organic and sustainable ways. You know, no um, kind of chemicals or anything that isn't certified organic is allowed to be used in the gardens. Um, they offer a lot of different like tools at each of the garden spaces that the community can just kind of use and take care of. They offer water and hoses all throughout there's compost areas, there's wood chips. They offer like their leftover plant starts because they will often sell plants to raise money. Um, and at the end of those sales, whatever they have left over, the gardeners can just come and grab whatever they want. So it's really cool. It has all of the options. Definitely if you live in a city or in an apartment where you don't really have 
space that you can garden in, I would highly recommend it. It is a lovely option, and I'm so sad that we just found out about it because we will probably be moving out of the state in about a year, um, so we'll only be able to enjoy this for this year. I'm sure other cities also have similar programs, so I would look into it, and that's what we will do in the future. Um, but one cool thing is if you're in the same space, you know, at least with our organization, you can request um, to return year after year and just keep the same garden space. So you can kind of um, have your little piece of land within the city that you can go to and grow your own food and also kind of meet your neighbors, create community. It's been a wonderful, wonderful um, process. But if you have any questions about it, you can put them below and I'll uh, happily answer anything. Okay, well, let's get back to this montage for a little bit and then we'll fast forward to the end of getting all of this weeded. Okay, so we have now the garden all weeded. You can see how good it looks. We piled all the hay up over there and a little over here so we can redistribute it. But right now we're gonna go ahead and put our trellises up. So we're gonna do this with some T posts and then we've got, I don't know where it went. Oh, it's behind me. We've got kind of some cattle panel-ish type wire stuff. So we're gonna go along here with tomatoes. Over there, I think we're gonna do carrots and onions. Along that side, we're gonna do zucchini. And then down the middle here is where we're gonna have peppers and peas and beans and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put up some trellises over here for the tomatoes and in the middle for the zucchini, or for the peas and stuff like that and then we're gonna wait and see we might talk to our neighbor to see if this cattle panel is theirs and how they feel about us having some zucchini that might climb up it but we'll go ahead and show you that and maybe I'll show you a little bit of us setting up one of the trellis and then we'll cut back to after it's finished up so we went and fixed around the outside fence and re-hammered in some of the posts fix the chicken wire so there's at least some protection all the way around from the stuff that was already left here by the previous person. And now we've got our T posts and we are gonna go through and Cody also leveled out the ground. So we're gonna go through and put up the trellises for the tomatoes right now and we'll show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we are putting these every five feet. I have it measured out here. And we're gonna take the board and we are just putting that in between the mallet and this so it doesn't ruin the mallet and it also drives the stake in a little better. Um, so let's get our second one in. Okay, something I didn't think about with the first one is that they each of these poles has these little like grooves, like these little things that catch um, the fence. And we put it backwards on the first one because we're going to put the fence on this side, but it'll be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna lay out our uh, cattle panel type material. I don't think it's actual cattle panel. 
I think it is um, kind of like a step up from chicken wire and it's square, similar, not as thick. Um, so we're gonna lay that out along here and just use zip ties to connect it. Oh, I probably shouldn't have talked while you were hammering. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, this camera angle may be a little weird. Hopefully I'm in frame. Um, I'm using Cody's camera because my phone died. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of an update of what we got done here today. So let's go back to the entrance and I'll give you a little tour. Okay, so here's our little entrance and we started putting down some wood chips as a bit of a path, but essentially we got this entire trellis put up today so that our uh, tomato plants can climb up there. On this side, uh, over here, we are going to be having our tomato plants, or not our tomato plant, pants, plants, wow, I'm struggling. It's been a long day. Um, our pepper plants, and we're gonna have them growing on this side of the trellis. And then the path, we did not finish it, but it will extend over to here, and we'll have a path down both ways over there. So over there, we're gonna have zucchini. We didn't do anything over there yet. We are saving this straw. Um, but over here, we started out planting. We've got our rainbow carrot mix planted all along here until this little uh, tag. And then over there, we've got um, onion sets that are in there. Never grown them. Hopefully I didn't place them too close together. And then over here, let me be careful not where I'm stepping. Over here along, let's focus, along here, along this trellis, we have our sugar daddy peas growing and we just planted those out. And so those hopefully will grow up this trellis. And then on this side, we've got our sugar snow peas, our melting sugar snow peas planted all along there. So hopefully they will grow up this trellis. Now we're also going to be having some beans at some point, probably here or over there where that straw is. Like I said, we'll have our zucchini. And then, yeah, that's what we've got going on today. So um, that's what we've got going on. We did a lot of work today. Cody and I are both very tired, but we are going to just water in these plants that we uh, planted today. And we're gonna go ahead and head out for the day. Hopefully we'll be back very soon and have some more content for you. Well, thanks for coming along with us as we set up the garden today. I hope you had lots of fun. I know we really enjoyed it.